So I wanted to record a short video about the Amazon Echo I received a couple weeks ago. Back in November 2014, I requested an invite from Amazon and it took about a month before I received it. I immediately placed the order. Unfortunately, it took about five and a half to six months before I received the device. However, it was well worth the wait. I've been playing with it for about two weeks, maybe a little bit more, and it ranks very high on the list of the tech devices that I own, and I own a lot of tech devices. Amazon Echo plays my music, it provides information, it answers my questions, and it even interacts and communicates with my home automation. Now, it is similar to Siri and Google Now, but it does so much more. And at least for me, the questions that I've asked her, she responds a lot quicker than Siri or Google Now. So back in 2014, I went ahead and paid $100 as a Prime member for the device. Non-Prime members were paying $200. Today, it's $150 for Prime, $200 for non-Prime members. So what I want to do today is I want to go ahead and I want to ask a few questions. I want to see what she knows, what she doesn't know. I want to see if we could trip her up. Now, there is a wake word. Now, you have to say this word in order for her to listen. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are skeptic to have a device listening 24-7 in your home. That's connected to the internet. I get it. I I'm telling you, most people share those concerns. However, like I said, you have to say the wake word. Now, if you do have your daughter named the same as the wake word, which is Alexa, by the way, stop. Stop, by the way, is the command to tell her to stop all actions. Then, obviously, I, I can see where, you know, you would have trouble. So, in that case, you would change the wake word to something, I believe, Amazon would be the second choice. Hopefully, in the future, you can go ahead and change it to any name you want. So, what we'll do is we'll ask you some questions, see what she does know and what she doesn't know, and uh, just have a little fun with her. And what I want to do is just take a quick close-up. So you can see the device. So here we go here. Now, on the top there are two buttons. This one here is that button where you could turn off all microphones. So even if you use the awake word, she cannot hear you. Alexa, see, she cannot hear you. Now, if you turn that off, Alexa, she hears you. Stop. And you could also just tap this button to ask a question. What time is it? The time is 4.31. Now, of course, I have no interest in tapping buttons to ask questions. I'd rather just do everything by voice. So let's go ahead and see what she knows and uh, we'll get started. Alexa, who is the Vice President of the United States? The United States Vice President is Joe Biden. Now, we could increase the volume also uh, when you're playing music or if you're across the room. So let's go ahead and try that. Alexa, volume seven. Okay. Alexa, who was the 35th president of the United States? The 35th US president was John F. Kennedy. Alexa, tell me about John F. Kennedy. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, commonly known as Jack Kennedy or by his initials JFK, was an American politician who served as the 35th President of the United States from January 1961 until his assassination in November 1963. Well, that's very accurate information there. Alexa, what are the dates of the Civil War? The American Civil War's dates are 1861 and April 12, 1861 to April 9, 1865. Okay, so now let's ask a few questions about some music, movies, TV shows that I, I may listen to or, or watch. Alexa, tell me the number of Friends episodes. Friends has 238 episodes. Very cool. Alexa, who is the director of the movie My Cousin Vinny? My Cousin Vinny's director is Jonathan Lynn. Alexa, how old is Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper is 40 years old. Alexa, how old is Robert De Niro? Robert De Niro is 71 years old. Very nice. All right, let's get into some music. Alexa, who is the lead singer of the Foo Fighters? Foo Fighters lead singer is Dave Grawl. Alexa, who are the drummers of Motley Crue? Motley Crue's drummers are Tommy Lee and Randy Castillo. Alexa, who sings Blank Space? Blank Space is by Taylor Swift. Okay, so as you can see, she's quite, she's quick with the answers. She's knowledgeable. She knows her stuff. 
Um, haven't tripped her up yet. So what another thing you can do is to play music. So you can stream music from your Amazon Prime account, or you can just play from your uploaded music to the Amazon library. You can even connect your Bluetooth devices and just play from them. So if you have an iPad, iPhone, a Fire, whatever it is that you have, you can go ahead and connect it and play radio. You can play um, the, stores that are, the, the songs that are stored on your device and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a song from my library and let's let her play that. And I do wanna mention one thing. When you play a song, you can pause it. You could ask it to play a, uh, the previous song, the next song, and you can even ask her to play music by genre, by artist, um, and so on. Alexa, play Latch by Disclosure. Latch, featuring Sam Smith by Disclosure from Chris's Music Library. Now, they have seven speakers. The bass is nice, it's really clear, and it sounds great. One thing I do wish is that there was the ability to support Bluetooth speakers and even wired speakers instead of just the one cylinder. Alexa, volume three. Okay, so some other cool things that Alexa can do is add things to your shopping list, to your to-do list. You can even set timers and alarms. So when, when I do send things to my shopping list, I'm at the grocery store, I can just pull out the app and then all those items are right there and I can check them off. Something else that's really cool is if you have a Prime account, you can reorder items from your Prime account. So if you've ordered Viva Paper Towels, you know, a month ago and you want to reorder it, just say, Alexa reorder, stop. She's very sensitive. Uh, stop. So you can go ahead and say reorder and then it will go ahead and reorder. Alexa, stop. So let me go ahead and just ask her a few other questions to see uh, how that all works and with, with the uh, shopping list, the to-do list, uh, the timers. Actually, not questions. Let me just shout out commands. Alexa, add bagel bites to the shopping list. I put bagel bites on your shopping list. Alexa, volume seven. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Alexa, set an alarm for 8 o'clock tonight. Alarm set for 8 o'clock this evening. Okay, very cool. So, something that I like, I'm a avid sports fan, so I, I, I love sports. So, you know, I have my apps in front of me, my iPads, my TVs, if I'm not at the game. Um, one thing that Alexa will do is uh, repeat, or I should say broadcast scores. So what we're going to do is just ask her. I believe there is a um, the Yankees are playing. So let's go ahead and find out the score of that game. Alexa, what's the score of the Yankees game? Currently, the Yankees are trailing the Nationals five to four. Okay, so that's very cool. All right, so let's have a little fun with her. Let's uh, see if she likes Siri, what what she thinks about Siri, and um, we'll get her responses on that. Alexa, who is Siri? Siri, Apple's virtual assistant and phone control interface. Alexa, are you better than Siri? I'm not better, just different. Alexa, how are you different than Siri? I'm more of a homebody. Alexa, explain how you're different than Siri. Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Okay, so that response will happen when she either A, doesn't understand what you're saying, um, or B, she just doesn't have the information. Sometimes what I'll do, or actually most times, I'll ask a question a second time, just in case she just didn't, you know, she misunderstood what I said. Now I've asked that question before, and it seems like um, you have to word it right, but sometimes she'll give you the answer, but it's, you have to craft it a little bit different than that. But we're gonna go ahead and move on. I wanna ask her a few questions about maybe measurements, uh, distance, um, math, things along that nature. Alexa. What is 3,247 divided by 8? 3,247 divided by 8 is 405.875. Alexa, how many ounces are in 21 pounds? 
21 pounds is 336 ounces. Alexa, how many feet are in a mile? One mile equals 5,280 feet. Alexa, how many inches are in a yard? One yard equals 36 inches. Very good, and those are all right answers. Alexa, what is the largest body of water in the world? The largest area of water is the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Alexa, how many countries are in the world? The world has 192 UN recognized countries. Okay, so now that is incorrect, I believe. Um, there are 193 countries that are recognized by the UN and 196 in the world. I, yeah, I think that one's, so we did trip her up on that. All right, one last thing that I'd like to do is show you one home automation that um, she's connected to. I'm hoping that soon Amazon has support where she can interact and communicate with all the therm Nest thermostats. I own several and um, that would be really sweet. Now you can hack the device and have her communicate with the Nest, but I'm just gonna wait for the support. One other cool thing that just came out is uh, audible.com where all the, the books are, the audio books are, now can be read through uh, the device as well. So let's do this real quick. Alexa, turn on the great room light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the great room light. Okay. And there you have it. So we'll ask her one last question and see what she says. Alexa, what is an Amazon Echo? Amazon Echo is a device designed around your voice that can provide information, music, news, weather, and more. Alexa, have a nice day. Same to you. And there you have it, the Amazon Echo.